Dave from Coeptis, we were talking about just before we started this interview about the tridemic and how Coeptis can be your best friend. Where do we start? Sure. That's great, Tracy. And thanks for taking the time again today. Um, so basically, um, Coeptis, we just finished recently our phase one clinical trial. Uh, we're waiting to put out data on our COVID trial. Um and we did a trial where we were able to induce patients with natural killer cells. And these were hospitalized COVID patients. And really, Tracy, this was during a time where, you know, hospitalized COVID was, you know, quite scary if you were the patient. There was a good chance you weren't leaving the hospital. And we were able to utilize um, this treatment, give it to patients, and not have any kind of negative effect by putting in what we would term fully off the shelf natural killer cells. So we did not have to match these cells at all uh, to the patient's individual blood types or any other typing there. And every one of the patients were able to take the mass maximum dosage of the natural killer cells that we gave them. And every one of the patients did leave the hospital uh, fully healthy. So we were very excited for that. But of course, we're realizing that this is not something that we're utilizing just for a COVID scenario. We realize that it can be quite helpful for all different types of respiratory diseases. So we are looking to move this into phase two clinical trials now for uh, acute respiratory disease. Cell therapy. There may be people out there that are new to biotech. They're excited about it. We're seeing some, some new life in the markets. Would you mind giving us a quick intro to the competitive nature of cell therapy? Well, I mean, cell therapy, it, it really is taking the patient's immune system. And in this case, we are utilizing, again, off-the-shelf cells. So it's not the patient cells. It's cells that we have created. And in the, the way that we create them, we are able to extremely bolster a patient's own immune system to destroy the disease. Now, the body is, is an amazing has an amazing ability to heal itself. But there are times that the body gets overwhelmed due to some type of disease state that is suffering at that time. We are able to, you know, bring in those reinforcements, basically. Think of it as a battle in your body. We're able to bring in enough reinforcements to overwhelm the type of disease state that's going on here, in this case, uh, respiratory disease. Coeptis, since you hit the market, very tight capital market structure. Can you mm -hmm. talk to us a little bit about that? Sure. I mean, the capital market structure of the Coeptis, it's basically we have about 37 million shares outstanding, all common shares. Um, there's no, um, let's call it negative uh, type of financings that have any type of convertible or resets in there or anything like that. So it's a very plain Jane structure, you know. And of course, since you've listed, you've been putting out milestones and news nonstop. I love the news story you put out yesterday about your deal with the University of Pittsburgh to include autoimmune indications for SnapCAR-T and SnapCAR-NK platforms. Yes. What does that mean? That's great, Tracy, and thanks for bringing that up. So CAR-T has been moderately successful to date <clears throat> industry-wise in treating different forms of, of cancer, basically, in the oncology field. Now, uh, there has been studies recently that show that with a single dosage of CAR-T, you're able to utilize it for autoimmune diseases such as lupus and cause a possibility of a cure in that area. So it's been an area that industry is really focusing on moving to autoimmune. As you are aware, we have such a benefit with Snapcar uh, amongst our competitors because every one of those other companies that is working on switching from cancer, say to autoimmune, they have to create an entire new cell structure that focuses solely on that area. With Snapcar, what Coeptis has is it has, we create a universal cell structure and that universal cell can be used to fight different forms of cancer, autoimmune disease. It really depends on how we link it to an antibody that is used to attack that. So we were able to acquire and license from the University of Pittsburgh to expand what we currently have from oncology to autoimmune also. And it's an area that Coeptis will certainly move forward on and the beauty of it is we can do it very uh, simplistically as we're utilizing our same cell structure. Okay, so then 
clinical development timeline. What is your anticipated timeline for beginning clinical trials targeting autoimmune diseases with the SNAPCAR technology? Well, I would say that's still to be uh, determined at this point. Uh, we are our, our first indications are, are for oncology, but we are certainly looking at different areas of autoimmune right now. We haven't determined which area, if it's going to be an area of lupus or some other area that's possibly a little more underserved, as you are seeing a lot of the uh, autoimmune uh, current uh, new CAR T therapies moving towards that. But, you know, I would say in the next uh, cu coming years is when we would really be starting uh, full development of that. So this has got significant impact on patients and health healthcare. How do you envision the SNAPCAR technology for changing the treatment landscape for autoimmune diseases? That's such a great question, Tracy. And it really, if I can give you a real world example, which I think really helps people to understand the difference of SNAPCAR versus current CAR T type therapies. You know, if you were uh, to present with a uh, issue today. Um, and let's say, let's even fast forward and say there are CAR T therapies available on the market for autoimmune. Um, you would you would go to the hospital. They would have to remove your blood, a portion of your blood, obviously. Uh, they would re-engineer your T cells. They would grow them in a bioreactor. They would put them back in your body. That might take, you know, 30 days or so. And the cost is extreme. You know, you're talking million plus into the multi-millions per treatment. Uh, with SNAPCAR, the difference is you would go to the hospital, we would be able to utilize our off-the-shelf cells, put them right into your body. We would be able to pick and choose from a catalog of different antibodies, whether to be used for a cancer, for different types of cancers, for different areas on that cancer, or for an autoimmune disease, and utilize that same bank of cells, fuse them with the antibody, put them in your body, and you would be able to leave the hospital that day. Cost dropping from into the millions down into the hundreds of thousands. So you can imagine the difference that occurs industry-wide here. And the overall opportunity, which is what I always tell everybody about, is the universalization of cell therapy, the opportunity to make this for everyone available, where currently it is not the case. I just want to go back to the tridemic for just a minute. I think we've seen a lot in the media about people are being you know, terrified of vaccines, anti-vaccinations, or anything that's not natural for their bodies. Can you tell me how cell therapy might be a roundabout way to add an additional treatment level? Sure. And it, it really fits into uh, the way that Coeptis creates our cells too. Um, yeah, you've seen a massive outcry. I mean, you, you, you've seen it to the point where people, even flu vaccines are dropping off as people just are, you know, ag against that idea in general at this point. Um, so, the ability to utilize cells or very, think of it as very organic, non-GMO type cells into your body that could just bolster your immune system to kill off these diseases. And after they kill them off, they go away. I mean, the opportunity is so far reaching to not even just, um, you know, the United States, but on, on a global basis, the opportunity to utilize our cells and bank our cells and utilize them for patients all over the world is staggering. And the great thing is, Tracy, is we can create these cells very cost effectively too. So it makes sense. Not only does it make sense, but the far reaching implications of how disruptive this might be for medical healthcare uh, is really mind blowing. Can I ask you how you got involved in this? I mean, why haven't we done this before? Sure. Yeah. I mean, that really goes back to the acquisition last year of the assets from Devera and the implementation, the implementation of uh, Colleen Delaney, Dr. Colleen Delaney as our chief science and medical officer. She is the one that developed this cell generation platform. We really feel that this is the next generation, that this is the, you know, the perfect way to create these cells and utilize them into the human body. So it's everything came together beautifully and it really is rolling out nicely right now. And of course, University of Pittsburgh seems to be a leader in understanding what's going on here. Would that be a correct conclusion? Sure. Uh, it, it, the, the addition of the cell generation platform, combining that with the assets that we have licensed from the University of Pittsburgh, the SNAPCAR, 
has dramatically expanded the ability to use Snapcart in this form and function as well. All right. So back to the investors. Uh, can you tell us what we should be looking forward to in the next quarter or two? Because you are putting out news on a, on a regular basis. Sure, sure. I think uh, data releases on uh, both of our trials are the COVID trial that's uh, been completed. So data releases will come shortly. Uh, the final enrollment of the last couple patients on our AML MDS trial and then data coming out on that. I think um, we'll see expansions of um, Snapcar into the different indications that we're moving forward. And I think we'll see some pretty exciting areas uh, with our gear te technology as well. So uh, quite a bit of things coming out for us in the near future. So everybody seeking more information on Coeptis, please go to the following website. And Dave, as always, it's a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Appreciate you.